Kendrick Lamar's new album just dropped, including 14 tracks in 55 minutes. Kendrick Lamar's Damn is not an album that can be categorized on its first listen. As with his previous albums, Damn doesn't lend itself well to an instant review, full of samples and sonic Easter eggs that require more than just an evening's listen to discover. Still, Lamar's Damn makes quite a first impression. Blood, the album opens with a perfectly Lamarian anecdote, as he narrates a story about an old woman that takes an existential turn completely in character for the rapper. Dam.s first political reference arrives at the end of the track, a winking sample of two Fox News reporters puzzledly reciting a lyric from Lamar's Black Lives Matter anthem All Right. DNA Dam.s second track lays out the themes that Lamar returns to throughout the album, loyalty, royalty and the heritage embedded in his genetic code. The track starts out triumphant, as Lamar compares himself to Jesus and raps about his soldier's DNA, before another Fox News sample declaring that hip-hop has done more damage to young African Americans than racism in recent years puts Lamar on alert, his levels of paranoia audibly rising. Yeah, Lamar channels Lauren Hill in his laid-back singing, shrugging off political matters to invoke a number of references to God, including the track's title. I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more, Lamar intones. The word is only a color, it ain't facts no more. Element, on Thursday, LeBron James introduced the world to Element by filming himself dancing to the song and the track has all the makings of a potential hit as its celebrity co-sign suggested. Even with its Instagram caption-ready verses, like I don't do it for the gram I do it for Compton and there's a difference between black artists and whack artists, Lamar still sounds sharp and unforgiving even when he's coining catchphrases. Feel, Lamar invites listeners into his clouded headspace, sharing his growing anxieties about losing his friends, family and talent. Yet even while he's meditating on fame, he stays relatable, introducing each of his issues with I feel like, elementary school level phrasing that grows powerful the more he repeats it. Loyalty, as he's shown over the last year, Lamar's features are a mixed bag, from hits with Beyonce to misses with Maroon 5. Thankfully, Damn.s buzziest guest appearance, the Rihanna collaboration Loyalty, is destined for radio success. Loyalty. Isn't the album's most lyrically stirring track, its refrains of tell me who you loyal to and it's so hard to be humble are familiar territory for both artists. Instead, the track offers two artists among the absolute best in their respective genres, trading deadpan deliveries and sounding totally at home in one another's presence. Pride, this isn't the album's most memorable track but its enjoyable mix of influences sees Lamar borrowing the warped guitars and pitch-shifted vocals from Frank Ocean's Sonic Toolbox, before attempting his best Andre 3000 falsetto on the chorus. Humble, the album's first official single is the spiritual successor to the butterfly hit King Kunta, with both tracks sharing a playful beat, nursery rhyme flows and highly quotable verses.